Doctor, no Wall Street strategist has been more cautious over the past six months than our next guest, Mike Wilson, the chief U.S. equity strategist at Morgan Stanley. He joins us now, and he's right here at Post 9. Welcome to Overtime. Thanks for having me. It's great to be back. I didn't misrepresent that. I mean, you've been <laughs> cautious for at least the last six months. Are you anything but that today? Are you growing more optimistic? Well, look, I mean, the, the good news is prices adjusted, right? I mean, that was always our big concern is valuation. So that's good, right? Prices have come down, and that's mostly the Fed tightening, and that's happened, okay? But now, you know, we get into the, the slowdown part, and that was the second part of our concern. And unfortunately, this, you know, Russian invasion of Ukraine uh, just makes that, you know, more tricky. So, yeah, I, I think, you know, generally our targets were 4,400 for year-end. Bear case was 3,900. I would say we're probably somewhere between that now you know, given the events of the last couple of weeks. You think multiples still have to come in a bit, largely because earnings are going to slow down? Look, we've already seen negative revisions pick up. Sure, absolutely. So, like I said, we've discounted some of that. But also the Fed has to go harder now, potentially, in the face of slowing growth. That was always our concern. So, you know, markets don't go to fair value. They overshoot, right? We overshot to the upside. We overshoot to the downside. So this week's note, we just talked about that dynamic. Could it be 16 times as opposed to 18 times in the short term? Sure it could. We're not that precise. There's caution on stocks, and then there's just downright negativity. You said today in a note, bonds are starting to look more attractive versus stocks. I mean, you had to go there? <laughs> it is a little, uh, I mean, that's a little extreme. But look, I mean, Scott, bonds have corrected just as much as stocks. Normally, when you get a stock market correction, right, bonds are a safe haven. But rates have been going up and spreads have been widening. So we do think it's interesting. For the first time, really, in a couple of years, I can look at long-duration treasuries and say, look, this may not be a bad bet if you're worried about growth. Like if you're, if you're like us and you're worried about growth, then maybe long duration bonds make sense in this environment. If you're not worried about growth, then it's not going to work. Well, what if, what if you're overdoing it on, on the worries? Marco Kalanovic, right, we cite his research all the time, says sure. too much negativity is priced in, urges people today to add risk to equity. Scott Minard, Guggenheim, Scott Minard, one of the biggest names sure. who ever come on this, this network. I think that as the Fed starts to tighten, stocks will start to rebound. He thinks that rates are topping out here. You'd be putting some money to work in beaten down areas. Yeah, we would agree. We agree that rates might be topping here in the back end. I just don't think you're going to For the wrong reason, though. Right. You're not going to get the elixir on the multiple because the market now is worried about growth. Look, I think if uh, Russia had not invaded Ukraine, we might be in the same position. We'd, be, we'd probably be more interested in trying to bottom fish here. But this, is, this event has really structurally changed the outlook for this year, even if there's a resolution. Let's say there's a ceasefire. It's not like you can put this all back into the bottle now. It's going to be difficult to put the inflation back in the bottle. The Fed's going to have to go maybe harder. And the growth risk, which is really the concern now, gets worse. But you have a key unknown removed from the picture. And then we can get back sure. to what we know. And that's the Fed is the chief participant in the ball game that we're all trying to watch and figure out how to play. I think that's right. But once again, it gets back to growth. So we've always been a little bit more negative on growth this year on earnings, right? No, no recession. We're not talking about recession, okay. Scott. We're talking about earnings, which is a margin issue potentially. The costs start to flow through, and that has to play through now. So, you know, I don't think this is going to be a situation that lasts for the entire year, but definitely through the second quarter. I appreciate you coming down here. It's good to see you Great face to, to face. You. We'll have you back on overtime, and I'll see you on the half. That's Mike Wilson from Morgan Stanley.